I'm Linda from Paper Boutique with Linda.com. Today I want to show you some of my favorite silhouette envelopes. I have made several videos on how to make envelopes and liners using different scoreboards and envelope makers. Please visit my YouTube channel to see them all. But I have to say, these are the easiest envelopes and liners to make that I have found. Well, let me move these out of the way and we'll get started. First of all, this design is from Lori Whitlock. And if you go to the Silhouette Online store, the number of this design is 50775. And it fits an A2 card. And an A2 card is a four and a quarter card by five and a half. And what's great about these files is it includes the liner, and I'll show you more about the liner in a moment. It includes the envelope, and then it includes the card. And all you have to do is fold around the fold down the perforated lines and use some tape and you've got a completed envelope. I don't like the little cut marks, so what I do is I just hand score mine. But this is such a cute one. Let me show you. Oh, and I wanted to mention that this particular one is made out of a medium weight cardstock. And now I want to show you a text weight cardstock. And I like the way this one turned out. It's really, and let me show you the paper. It's just very, very lightweight text weight paper. And this is what is considered to be an A10 envelope. And typically it holds a card, at least this envelope holds a card that's 3.75 by 8.5 inches. And this is another one of Lori Whitlock's design. And it also comes with the card and the liner. The design number on this one is 50784. And what I did is, like I said, it's text weight lined with a text weight paper. And then for the envelope seal, all I did, and you could use silhouette cuts for this as well, I used my scallop circle punch, and then I used a regular circle punch. And you can make these matching the inside of the envelopes. I think this next one is actually my favorite, and I hope that it's picking up on camera how beautiful it is. This particular envelope holds a four by six inch card or photo, and it measures 4.25 by 6.25. And I made this out of super heavy cardstock, the liner and the envelope. This one is also a Lori Whitlock, and this is the small scallops. And the number on this is 50773. But what I want to mention about when you use the thicker cardstock is you need to use a heavy duty glue or you need to use some really secure tape. And I recently received this tape from scrapbookpal.com and I want to thank them for sending it to me because it's wonderful. It comes in a quarter of an inch an eighth of an inch and a half inch and I've been using on the envelope this quarter of an inch and it works perfectly. All you'll do is put it along the side and I'll show you in just a moment and then just take the liner off. But it's heavy duty but remember when you're making these with the heavier cardstock you do need a heavy duty tape or heavy duty glue. The next one I want to show you is the this is the larger scallop and this is a five, this holds a five by seven card and it is an A7 envelope again by Lori Whitlock. And like I mentioned, these are the larger scallops. The number on this is 50778. And what's great about this card is I just used double-sided paper and you have the cutest card. And all I would do to seal this is just to run this tape and I'm not going to take your time. I would just run it right along here, cut it, and then just peel off this liner and go ahead and seal it. But I left it unsealed so I could show you the liner that comes with these cuts. And the liner fits perfectly up against the fold lines, a little inside the fold lines. And then what I did on the others, I just used a glue stick to glue it down or you could use this heavy duty tape as well. In this case, since this is super heavy cardstock on a almost a solid color, you can see it cracked even though I, you, I scored it by hand. So I pro would recommend not using a white core, but using, you know, if it's a really thick cardstock or like a pattern. If I used a pattern, you wouldn't see the crack. But for this envelope, I'm just going to do it like this because it's double-sided and it gives me just a fun look. 
Now, there are tons of envelopes available on the Silhouette Online store. All I would recommend you do is go in and just search by envelope, but let me show you one of my favorites. And this is a set that is by Samantha Walker, and I recently posted this on my blog. I love this set. It almost looks embossed. It's so perfect. And Samantha Walker has a whole line of matching cards and envelopes, and then you have the liner that you can also attach. And I just love, love her files. And let me tell you the number on this one. It's 508 Five, two, and it's the leaf set by Samantha Walker. And once again, this one was 50778 for a 5x7 card. This size holds your regular A2, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'd also like to do a special thanks to scrapbookpal.com for sending me this scrappy tape. I I'm absolutely hooked, and I have been using once again the quarter of an inch on the envelopes. Well, I would like to thank you for watching and please visit my YouTube channel for more envelope videos and for more projects and ideas, my blog, paperboutiquewithlinda.com. Bye-bye.